Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog! Hello! So today is a day in the life vlog, we're at home, we have quite a long little list actually to mm. get through, um, we've actually set up the lights because we're doing a little bit of filming and uh, we're actually filming a self tape which is quite exciting we do sort of the odd self tape don't we when they come through mm -hmm. um this one's for a commercial um so we're gonna film that we sort of do the same setup as what we would do for our youtube channel so yeah we're gonna get filming uh this self tape is sort of just us chatting really <laughs> so we haven't really like planned what we're gonna do um they've given us some questions and then we just we're just gonna kind of roll with it. We're just gonna treat, treat it like a sit down video. Yeah, yeah, I mean, commercial castings can be so random. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did some funny ones last year. Um, so, yeah, I feel like with commercial castings, you just have to give it a go and then just try and forget about it because you can't overthink it. Um, but, yeah, we're gonna get that done this morning. So it is a couple of hours later and we've actually got loads done. We filmed that self tape for the commercial and then we sent a couple of emails that we needed to send and then I filmed my intro video for my brand new YouTube channel, which is so exciting. So I'm setting up a dance fitness YouTube channel. So I filmed the intro for it and I took some photos for the cover art and photos for the Instagram. So yeah, it's all becoming very real. I will pop the link to that um, channel in the description box if you wanna go and follow it and the intro video should probably be up by now um so you can like watch that and you can see what it's all about but yeah very excited and yeah feeling really good about it and excited to get going so did that and we actually think we're gonna head into Windsor we haven't been into Windsor in quite a while and as you know it's one of our favorite places ever since we used to live there so we're gonna head into Windsor maybe grab some lunch from Bill's because again one of our favorite restaurants and we haven't been there in a while and yeah just enjoy our afternoon had a productive morning and um, so we can just chill this afternoon So we just had a lovely meal at Bill's and we've just walked up to the castle because all of this is new since we've been here and they have a new like monument. This is to commemorate the Platinum Jubilee of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in the year 2022. And it's actually a water fountain. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a brand new well, we haven't seen it. I'm not no. sure how long it's been up for. Well, this was all under construction last time I was here. Yeah. We've redone the road. Oh, I do love Windsor though. If you haven't been, I highly recommend a visit. So we have actually visited the castle before and um, there's a full vlog on the channel. And we've been inside and we did the tour. And uh, this is, well, this is where you come out. Oh yeah, this is where you tour. end. So this is actually my favourite street in Windsor and down here they have like tea rooms and restaurants and cafes and I just think it's so pretty and if you do sit outside in summer you get a lovely view of the castle behind you. So this is called Church Street and yeah it's just a lovely little little hidden gem. So then if you walk a bit further up, this is the visitor entrance. So that building just there is where you get your tickets and then you enter and then you head through to the castle. We just got back in from Windsor. It was a lovely little trip, a lovely little walk and Bill's was really nice. But I don't know if anyone else is like me. I can't be wearing jeans in the house. If I know that I'm gonna be in for the evening, the comfies have gotta go on. And because it is now 5.34, I think it's pajama time. There we are. I don't go by halves. I've gone full shablang. I've got my Disney Udi on. I've got my comfy Primark jammies and then cozy socks. And this is me pretty much every evening. If I am in for the night, I don't chill in like my clothes. 
I have to have either comfies or pajamas. Let me know in the comments if you're the same. When people just chill in jeans at home on their own, I'm like, how are you doing that? <laughs> so whilst we were in Windsor, we popped into our PO box um, because we were actually returning the key because sadly we have closed it for the time being. Um, we did put out a little post on our Instagram and we've taken it off all of our videos um, simply just because it was each month, well I think every like six months the price was increasing and then this year it just got to the point where it was just so expensive um, that we couldn't really justify keeping it open at the moment. So what we are doing is we are looking at alternatives and if we do find an alternative PO box um, then we will be sure to let you know and yeah we're just gonna do without for a little while it is a shame because we do love having a p.o box um it just means that it's easy if we work with brands and it's also an address that we can give to people if they do want to send us like letters or anything so yeah we are going to look around um and hopefully find an alternative but yeah at the moment we have closed it but i picked up there was a package there and it was from Charles Worthington. So a huge thank you because I wasn't expecting this at all. And they sent me some of their, some of their hair goodies. And um, so it just says, hi, we hope you love these hair heroes to kick off 2024 from Charles Worthington. So a huge thank you to them. And I thought I would just show you what was inside. So I have the Grow Strong Activating Shampoo, Achieve Longer Stronger Hair and Reduce Breakage by 90%. So yeah, that looks lovely. I've heard really good things about Charles Worthington hair products. I've never used them myself. And then I've got the Grow Strong Protein Conditioner. So this is the conditioner version. So yeah, very excited to use this. Also, I feel like this will be good on my hair because I do have quite thin hair. So anything that's gonna make it like stronger and thicker is always, always good in my books. And then a scalp tonic. <gasps> this stimulates hair growth for lasting results in just four weeks. So I'm excited to give that a go. I've always struggled to grow my hair. Um, I do cut it short, but I've always struggled to get past like here. It just starts to go really thin and yeah. So it'd be interesting to use something like this to see if I can, yeah, just make my hair a little bit thicker. So it calms and nourishes the scalp, lightweight tonic, provides overall hair strength to maximize growth. So yeah, I'll use this. And there we are, that's what it looks like. So, oh, <laughs> throw it out of my face. Um, so yeah, a huge thank you to Charles Worthington. That was a lovely little surprise. So I've just been putting together Helena's intro video for the Dance Fitness channel. And one important bit is obviously at the end of our videos, we've got our signature tune. A little tune, um, a little jingle. <laughs> so we've got to have a one for Helena's Dance Fitness. And we found one quite easily. We did, we just, <laughs> we typed in dance and then on Epidemic Sound, they've got some really good tunes on there. Really good for actual workouts as well. I'm going to be doing a few um, workouts to their songs. And yeah, they had one called, I don't know what it's called actually. Um, it's called uh, We Keep On Dancing. We Keep On Dancing, it's really cute. Here's why. I like it. I thought it was going to take us ages to find one. I know. Sometimes it can take so long to find music for vlogs. <laughs> but sometimes you just stumble across something and it's perfect. So we were very lucky there. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. It feels a bit um, scary. I'm not going to lie, though. Like starting a new channel. Oh, yeah, I think because starting. we've only had one for so long, it feels um, Well, yeah. We, uh, also, feels weird. it's so different. That yeah, you, yeah. you know that we put like... We keep everything under one umbrella because it's like our creative outlet, but this is so different. Well, yeah, it, 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 needs, needs, it needs its own channel. Yeah. A little bit dark. We just <laughs> turned the light off and popped on the lamp because we're getting cozy and we're going to watch an episode of Call the Midwife. <laughs> For the past couple of hours, I fell down a canva hole. <laughs> I started um, putting well, no. together the channel. Yeah. 
the uh, So Helena Dance Fitness YouTube channel and I started doing like the banner and the end screen and things like that. Um, so yeah, I was on Canva for a bit. Um, <laughs> I love Canva. Such a good um, like yeah, it is. source. If you need anything like that done, it's, it's perfect. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit addictive. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at colours and things and fonts. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was really exciting actually. I wasn't really planning on doing that tonight, but it's all set up now. Mm -hmm. so first video. First video done. also edited. Martin helped me edit that. Yeah. So yeah, now we're just going to chill, watch Call the Midwife. We're actually up to date, which is crazy because <laughs> we been, were behind for so long. We were behind for so many years. And it's actually weird because once this season ends, we're actually not going to have any episodes to watch until, until Christmas. Christmas. Which we'll have is to wait. weird. So we think we're actually going to carry this vlog on to tomorrow because Martin's off tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have another nice day together. So we thought we would film that as well. Morning, everyone. So it is now the next day. It's actually coming up to one o'clock. And um, we had a nice chilled morning. And I actually just recorded a song and this is for my nanny's funeral. So a very special song to record. I recorded The Carnival Is Over, um, which is one of her favorite songs from one of her favorite bands. And yeah, so I recorded that this morning. So now we're gonna have a cup of tea and then might go for a little wander, a little walk, get some fresh air. And then we have an exciting trip to tell you about. So yeah, we're gonna tell you about that soon. So we've had a productive morning and afternoon. We launched our spread shop, which is featuring some t-shirts now with our designs that you may have previously seen on the badges. And that was after you said in the uh, live Disney quiz that you'd quite like to have them available. So yeah, Yay. we opened up our spread shop. So thank you to anyone who's ordered a t-shirt. The Etsy store is gonna remain open. Yes. So the badges will remain over at the Etsy store because mm -hmm. um, we can still control them. Um, and then if any new designs happen, but we think we're gonna Head outside. It's a bit chilly, isn't it? <laughs> Take in some air. Today. Yeah, and we're gonna go and venture off on a bit of a walk. Do you know what's making me so happy though? Is that I can just see a little tree from outside a window and like it's starting with the pink blossom. And I feel like <laughs> the sun we've had recently is just like spring is definitely creeping in. <laughs> So apologies that we've left this for like <laughs> right at the end of the vlog. It, it looks like we've done it on purpose, but we didn't actually. It wasn't our plan. We've just no. had two like jam-packed days of yeah. trying to, try to get stuff done. <laughs> we've been really productive actually in the past couple of days, but it's like all exciting stuff, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And another exciting thing is that we are going on holiday, yes. which we are so grateful for and we, we absolutely can't wait. We booked this about a year ago. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a family holiday, which I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, so it's to celebrate my dad's birthday and he's had a few like celebrations and the big one is this holiday. So yeah. we're going on a cruise, uh, myself and Martin, my dad, my mum and also my brother. So it's kind of like a reunion of the <laughs> Disney World 2016. Oh, yeah. 18. No, 18. 18, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it's going to be so lovely to go on holiday all together. We're going away for a week and mm -hmm. we're actually going on a P&O cruise again. Yeah, well, we just, we really enjoyed the last one we went on, mm -hmm. uh, Iona, and then... We got well, a we really were, good deal for this yeah, one. Yeah, we were milling over ideas what to do for mm -hmm. for the birthday and uh, they'd been on cruises before, obviously, yeah. when we were on there and then we recommended P&O. So. And um, it's a place that we all haven't been before. Yeah. And also we just thought of a cruise it's quite a good one because people can like do their own thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we can obviously meet up for like dinners and we can go offshore together and stuff. But if somebody did want to, you know, do something different, they can. Yeah. And we can all be in the same place. Um, so where we're we going? We're going to the Canary Islands. We're going to... This is it, the, the test. I must admit that Hell is, the, Hell is the one that's been, like planning and... Yeah, I've been doing <laughs> lots of planning because uh, some of them are really good ports. Um, so we... I'll, I'll do a little itinerary. I might get some of the days mixed up. Um, but we fly to Tenerife. Mm -hmm. um, we've both never been to Tenerife, which no. is very exciting. And then the ship leaves that evening. Yeah. And then we have a day at sea. Uh, because we're travelling over to Madeira. 
in Portugal. So that's an island. That looks stunning. And it looks stunning. Apparently it's like the Hawaii of Europe. Mm -hmm. And I can see that with like the rolling hills and like mountains <laughs> and it looks stunning. And there's so much to do actually in the port of Madeira. Um, so that's going to be like a jam-packed day. And we're actually there until 10 o'clock in the evening. So it's like oh, a, that's full, a lady, yeah. full day. Like where we worked on the cruise ships. I mean, it was normally around like well, sometimes five, sometimes seven, yeah. but 10 o'clock. 10 yeah, o'clock, it's, like... it's going to be really nice. Um, so, yeah, and then we have another day at sea straight away after because we obviously have to travel to Madeira and then travel back. And then we go to three more ports. So we go to La Palma and then we go to Fuerteventura mm -hmm. and then we finish back in Tenerife. Um, but the last time we're in Tenerife, we actually have an overnight. So we're going to have a full day an evening in Tenerife and then half a day in Tenerife and then we will fly back home. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a really good cruise. I'm excited. I haven't been to these places before. Yeah. And it's yeah, we're a excited. brand new, uh, brand new ship for us. Yeah, it's a P&O Azura. So it's smaller than Iona and quite a lot older than Iona. And like things are going to be different so to how yeah. we organise things on the Iona, which will be good because then mm. we can show you. It sounds much more like your classic sort of cruising. So probably it will remind us a little bit more of like when we worked on cruise ships. It's got a yes. pool deck. It has a pool deck yeah. so they have sail away parties. Um, you have like set dining times so you don't have to do the, um, which worked really well on Iona. It did, yeah. Fair. So I'm curious to see. But you don't do the... Um, online booking, booking. For, yeah. and yeah they've got like shows and comedians and uh game shows um <laughs> so i feel like it's going to be a classic cruise experience we've got two formal nights i know <laughs> yeah i'm just i'm wearing the same yeah clothes. it's fine <laughs> we're going in march so if you follow our instagrams we'll post pictures and things of the trip yeah so yeah, let us know in the comments if you've actually been. Yeah, if you've been to any of those cruise. areas, any recommendations yeah. of things to do. We haven't booked any excursions yet. We no. might do. We might have an idea of what we get up to on the overnight in Tenerife. Yeah, we are toying with the idea <laughs> of going to You know how much I love a water a park. A certain water park. It's Siam <laughs> Park. It's like the biggest water park in Europe. The only thing is it's quite far away from the port. It's about an hour. Mm. Um, I think it's like a 45 minute taxi, an hour bus, so, I mean we do have an overnight, so, yeah, so we don't no have rush. restrictions, yeah. so that is definitely a possibility, if you've been to that water park, let us know, is it worth that travel? Your brother says he's been. Yeah, he said he it's really, really good, it. Yeah. it looks amazing. I mean, oh yeah. It does, look, <laughs> you, you know we love like a water park, so it's very tempting. <laughs> Um, because it's an overnight as well, so even if we get back, we can have a little wander around yeah. the port still, because we've got the whole evening, mm -hmm. and then we also have the next morning as well, so, so like, <laughs> lots of, um, lots, lots of ideas, lots of ideas, but yeah, we haven't booked any excursions yet, um, I think we'll probably just see what we can do ourselves. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to vlog the trip, so... We'll try and sort of do this oh, yes. similar to how we did last yeah, time. Yeah, we'll where... probably vlog like two, three days put them together so yep. there'll probably be like three or four vlogs of the cruise yeah but yeah we thought we would update you all and i think that's about it so thank you so much for watching this vlog and we will see you in the next one yeah if you've enjoyed this one hit the like button and also subscribe bye toodle pipskies